Next up at UFC Vegas 42, we have the feature prelim fight of the evening. We have Tiago Moises versus Joel Alvarez. Tiago Moises, three and two in his last five, 15 and five overall. Joel Alvarez, four and one in his last five, 18 and two overall. Tiago Moises is a good technical striker and a very high level, very good BJJ black belt. He's coming off of that bad loss to Islam, but honestly, so is everybody else in that division. Tiago mixes in his low kicks really well. He uses them to set up his takedowns, and he is a very, very well-rounded guy. Joel Alvarez is very tall for the division. He is 6'3", and he uses that length and reach pretty well. He's got solid kicks and okay boxing, but he shines in the grappling department as well. His grappling is interesting because he hasn't initiated a single takedown in the UFC. In fact, he hasn't defended one either, so every single takedown attempt on Joel has worked. He's been taken down 100% of the times people have tried to take him down in the UFC. Um, but he is dangerous. He just he almost enjoys being taken down. Okay, take me down. I'm comfortable here. I can work from here. And he was able to submit two out of the three people and stop all three of the people who did take him down in the UFC. So although it might be very easy to take him down, it may not always be wise to do that. I think the odds are pretty spot on, though. While Joel is a massive human being for this weight class, and he has really good grappling, he doesn't have any wrestling at all, and Tiago is a phenomenal grappler in his own right, if I thought Joel would be able to initiate a takedown, end up on top, and plot his way through, almost like what Islam did, then Joel's a solid pick, but he can't, and he won't. So now we have... Tiago, who's probably the better, more technical striker. Tiago, who definitely is the better wrestler. And Tiago, I think he's the better grappler, but even if he isn't, he'll still initiate the takedowns, be on top, and be in the proper position there to make things happen or to avoid stuff. So I like Tiago Moises here. I like his top game. I like his striking. I think the odds are spot on, and, and he's my pick. What do you think, Jakey? Listen, Tiago Moises is my guy. I love Tiago Moises, former Lock of the Week winner. Uh, I'm glad he's a big favorite in this fight. I'm going to give the same speech that I gave Phil Hawes, okay? It's going to be completely opposite, but I told Phil <laughs> Hawes last week, for the love of God, just please wrestle. Don't get in a striking match. But Tiago Moises, I'm telling you, Tiago, do not, Tiago, do not take this guy down. Do not initiate a single takedown your striking is going to be more than enough to win this fight keep your distance be patient use your striking in and out he's not going to take you down you don't have to worry about it get in the pocket throw your strikes do not do not please do not take him down you will get submitted i don't care tiago's a black belt he's very confident on the ground do not take this guy down that's the only way he can win please for the love of god tiago just punch him in the face that's all you got to do you're going to win the fight I like Tiago. Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting because he does not have to worry about takedowns. He does not have to worry about being taken down. And if he's losing the striking exchanges for some reason, he can initiate a takedown. And he's a high-level BJJ black belt. So obviously there's levels in the jiu-jitsu world, but the reality is, you know, it's it, Alvarez is a very good grappler, but he's not levels above Tiago Moises. He, he's pretty slick with it. He's pretty slick with it. I wouldn't, I would not, don't, I would mess with it, Tiago. I know you're good, man. I wouldn't mess with it. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I, I think, I, I, I just, I think this is pretty straightforward. I, I think these odds are spot on. Tiago's definitely the better striker, and there's zero threat of a takedown here. So, what, where's the concern? So, Either way, I don't know if I'm going to spend the $9,000 in DraftKings, though, because I don't think he's live for a stoppage, and I don't know if he's going to initiate takedowns to score those five. You know, if you, if you look at some of these strikers in DraftKings, some can score really well, but for the most part, in their wins, you're getting 60, 70 points, which is fine, but not if you spent $9,000. What do you think of this monkey knife fight line? It is probably more and more. I think it's it goes to a decision. I think they sort of bang it out, and uh, I like the more and more here. What do you think? 
first of all, to touch on the 9,000, I actually might play the 9,000 because I think he's going to grapple, right? Because he, you mentioned the Islam loss. He, he actually survived versus he looked better against Islam than a lot of people have get, looked against Islam, but he was out grappled, was out wrestled, was submitted. So he, damn it, man, he might come in and try to prove a point like, yeah, I can wrestle, I can grapple. Um, and it could work for him because he is very, very good. I'm not saying he's not good. It could work for him. He could get a million takedowns and just completely control him. But the only way Joel will be able to win is if you give him that opportunity. So I wouldn't mess with it. But I think he still comes out and probably shoots takedowns and and, and grapples. So I actually liked a 9,000 for DraftKings. But if I was betting on him, I wouldn't want him to grapple. If that makes sense. So, uh, But I, I, I'd say the more and more as well. And frankly, if I'm his coach, I say strike with him. As long as you're leading the striking, just stick to that. One minute left, shoot a takedown. Take him down, one minute left, lock the round up, see how he feels. If you get into some trouble, you can survive 30 seconds or whatever it is, and then work your way up and don't do it again. That would be my game plan and my advice. But either way, this will be an interesting fight. I'm rooting for Tiago, but uh, Joel Alvarez is, is, is a legit threat. If, uh, if he improves his striking, he's a really big threat. I've been pinning some comments here from the live chat. He does have weight issues. He's humongous. He's humongous for this weight class. He's had weight issues in the past. We'll see if he's able to make weight here. And if he does make weight and he's exhausted and he looks terrible at weigh-ins, you know, it may be uh, interesting to see what that does to his cardio. But uh, should be a fun should be a fun fight against two really good grapplers that may or may not actually grapple. Before you go, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. We have three different betting partners. Jump into one of them. They all have deposit matches. Make a deposit. Let me know, and I will send you $50. Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, however you want it, as a thank you for supporting us and our partners. We on slash bets.